Our other top story tonight, verdicts in Georgia reverberating across the country and here in the Bay Area, too. Three men convicted of felony murder for killing Ahmaud Arbery. Count one, malice murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Oh. The men shot Arbery last year after confronting him while he jogged through their neighborhood. NBC Barry Scott Budman is in our newsroom, and Scott, a lot of people were holding their breath waiting for their this verdict. Yeah, Jessica, the murder of Ahmed Arbery led to widespread demonstrations last year. Today, the verdict was praised by many here who followed the case closely. Reaction to the verdict was quick from the courthouse in Georgia. I exhaled. For sure. And among those watching from further away, the verdicts were a reason to exhale. There's a lot of work to do, right? Um, but the, the punch in the gut that it would have been had any of them um, walked free, uh, I, I'm glad that we were, were spared that. The three men found guilty were originally set free after Arbery was shot, but then video footage of the incident, shot by one of the three defendants, hit the internet. The technology is extremely important because, again, it, you, you, ha you can't believe your lying eyes. The latest video to be used to document a crime that otherwise might have been ignored. You can't as underestimate the role of cell phones and computers and the ability of young people to communicate with each other, but also to expose. A leading Bay Area civil rights attorney tells us he believes justice was served. This is a case where real justice was served. Uh, in large measure because you, that the young man was shot and killed under circumstances was unjustified. And so, and so to the extent that he, the people who perpetrated that were tried before a jury and convicted, uh, to me, it was extraordinarily important. Now, the three men found guilty have yet to be sentenced. They face life in prison for the state charges. They've also been indicted on separate federal charges, including hate crimes and attempted kidnapping. Jessica? All right, thank you very much, Scott.